Whoa, did we have an amazing match here in Birmingham. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, Magdalena Fresh, my favorite Polish tennis player, taking on Jill Teichman, who has just dropped in the rankings, plummeting like the Dow after bad news. Listen, Jill Teichman's ranked 126, but she had her chances in this match. Magdalena came out. She won the first set, serving pretty darn good. She won 85% of her first serve points in the first set. The second set belonged to Jill Teichman, ladies and gentlemen. Jill Teichman had several breakpoint opportunities, and she cashed in on them in the second set. However, we pick up here in the third set, and Jill Teichman, guys, I've been saying it for a while now. I think she is a top 40 player, but I may have to reconsider that. Maybe she is where she belongs in the rankings because she's not playing like a top 40 player. Uh, I don't know if it's time for a coaching change, but she's making a lot of double faults. She's constantly behind in service and return games, love 30. She's always having to play from behind, and she doesn't serve well, to be honest with you. She makes a ton of double faults. And look, I, I agree with McEnroe. We need to change the let rule. Jill Teichman's consistently getting three first serves. Look, if if you can't get the ball over the net, you should be faulted for it. There should, if you cannot get the ball over the net, that's what we practice for. We play to serve to get to start things off. If you can't get the ball in play, you shouldn't be rewarded a free serve for it. I agree. It's the most ridiculous rule in all of sports. Teichman's literally, con she's getting three first serves. It's crazy. Listen, guys, change that rule. It's ridiculous. Let's not reward people for not being able to. And yes, it's exhausting. And yes, I play tennis. It is exhausting. When you're playing a long two, three set match, serving is exhausting. But let's stop rewarding people for for just not having the ability. Now, Magdalena, I said, look, I think she's a great shot maker. She's a great rally player. Uh, I think, to be honest with you, I think she's even more athletic than Jill Teichman. She's in form. She's always fit. She's literally played 126 matches the last year and a half. That is a lot of matches. She has frequent flyer miles, first class, because she is classy. I, I like me some Magdalena Fresh. Just because she hustles, she's athletic. And listen, no matter what you're doing in life, if you're consistent with it, if you're passionate about it, if you do it enough, eventually you're going to get results. And that's what we're seeing with Magdalena. She was well outside of the top 100. She's now ranked 72nd in the World Tour rankings. And someone like Joe Teichman, who's ranked 126, I think she's going to find herself in a never-ending spiral where she's not going to get into these master events or these grand slams because she cannot serve well. I think she needs a coaching change, to be honest with you. I think she's too fast. She's too athletic. But she doesn't have anything to keep opponents off of her, and I don't think she's a great shot maker. I don't, I don't think she's a deep rally player. Someone like Magdalena just beat her because she's just a better shot maker, right? And the reality here is Jill Teichman, for her to be left-handed and so athletic, I think she needs a new coach. There's no way she should be ranked outside of the top 100. Uh, I do think she needs to work on her footwork a little bit more. Uh, I think opponents use her athletic ability against her sometimes uh, where she'll, she'll overplay one side and then she has no chance to even return shots. But Magdalena gets the victory here. Another early exit for Jill Teichman. What is going on with Jill Teichman? This, this is horrible. I think she needs a coaching change. Uh, she's not, I think she's a top 40 player. She's not serving like it. She's not returning like it. She's always down in service games. Something's got to give. But Magdalena, my favorite Polish tennis player, gets the victory. More tennis coverage. Tennis in a minute. Thank you guys for 2.3 million. Guys, one by one. I appreciate it.